When it comes to survival kits, I really like to build them for myself. I like to do the research, search out the different pieces, and really know why I'm putting things together. But sometimes it's great to have just a source where things are just put together. Uh, this is the SOL Origin. Uh, it's a small little survival tool kit is what they call it. Now it comes in this really cool little waterproof case. Uh, it is pretty solid. It weighs 6.1 ounces, so it's very light. We have different tools that are integrated into the back. You can remove these really easily. We'll check that out. And then we have a small clip. You can pop it open and then get to the other contents. Uh, this is a really cool little comprehensive kit. While there are some things that I would probably add to it, it wouldn't be an exclusive kit. To me, if you're out hiking, you're in the woods, you're hunting, uh, you're in a survival type situation, you should have those items and this will just complement it. Now the dimensions are fairly small, uh, three and three quarter inches in length, uh, two and three quarter inches in width, and then in depth about an inch and a quarter. Uh, it's really compact, it's handy great just to slip into your pocket uh, one of the things that i want to mention here is that you know you want to have some kind of survival item on you if you're out out somewhere you're hiking you're hunting you're fishing having something in your cargo pocket uh, is just important uh, if you have it in a pack you can leave your pack you can forget your pack you can drop it in the water this gives you something at all times to be on your body and i like this size so for that alone is one reason why i would probably go with something like this uh, in fact, I bought two of these, uh, and I'm going to use them for different purposes. I mean, it is small enough just to drop into any cargo pocket. I can have it in there if I ever need it, pull it right out. Now, the kit has a lot of modular features all along. So we're going to look right here at the top. Uh, you just pop this open, and it does have a signal mirror, and it has a film here to protect the mirror. Uh, and then also some instructions on how to use this for a signaling device. Um, one of the things you have is a hole here, and you can look through it, and you can aim it this way, and then hit your, you know, some kind of reflective, uh, the light, the sun, and be able to actually, you know, hit airplanes or you know things like that. Even rescuers, if you see them up on a mountain ridge, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this. Very simple to do, and you can see it is very bright. Then it closes up and it protects it. Here on the back, we have a number of items. We have a compass and it just slips right in uh, then we have a fire starter wheel which pull it out they have rubberized coatings on either side to hold it into place and then you just have a little striker and it creates a spark and then we can just slide it right back into its place now the knife is actually locked in you have a small lock so we're going to push it up and then we can just retrieve the knife right out uh, this is not only a knife but we're going to look at that first have a little thumb stud, we can pull it around. Very short blade, uh, but great for utility. You can do a lot of things with this. It does have some jimping right here, so I'm able to you know, get a good solid grip on the blade. And then it's a liner lock. So right here, we just take and push it. Uh, one of the things I do like about the thumb stud makes this a one-handed operation. So I can open it, close it with one hand in case I'm injured. I'll do a little cutting just to see how what we've got but it's short and compact. It's gonna be great for utility, a little small task. Wanna do some feathering. Do some stripping. You know, and you can get a lot of shavings here. Uh, the handle is large enough to where you feel like you've got something on it. The blade is super short. So, um, you know, you wanna be careful you don't slip off of the blade and uh, but seems to be really adequate. Uh, might even be good for a little bit of food prep, even though it is short. And um, you know, those tasks that you really need, just a little small blade. Then when you're done, liner lock, close that up. Important to have a lock on these small blades. Now on the end of the knife tool, there is a whistle. Pretty loud. You know, three blows means that you're in trouble. And so that's kind of the SOS, but um, really good to have a whistle for a lot of different reasons. Signaling, rescue, uh, if you're in the woods near bear country, it's good to kind of blow a whistle just to let them know you're coming so they'll get out of the way. Right here's a little pressure pad and you have a light. And so we can just push it and click it on and off and we have light. Uh, I carry a small light, I carry a knife uh, in my pocket at all times, but 
having redundancy is important and these two can really serve you uh, especially if your light runs out of batteries it just gives you a backup now we have a small light this would be great for reading map reading low level light uh, you would have a little bit you know in your tent or something in a shelter and it'll just give you enough to be able to see uh, as far as walking along a trail it's not really that bright here you can see out in front of you anyway make sure you're not stepping on snakes <laughs> Uh, right here there is uh, two batteries that you can replace a little small phillips head screwdriver and here on the knife is sol and it's not s out of luck but it survive outdoors longer here you can see the way it fits right back in which obviously it's pretty simple and it just clips into place so you're not going to lose your knife your light and your whistle uh, the compass may get knocked off it's according to how you're carrying it uh, the fire striker is fairly tight in there, but you know, you could possibly lose it. But I like that the knife's secured. Now it does have a small little clip. We can open it up and reveal the different contents. Uh, right here is you can put a lanyard right through here and there is a lanyard included. One thing I do want to point out though is the 62 plus life-saving tools and techniques. And this is by Buck Tilton, uh, anybody named Buck. You know he's going to be an expert in survival <laughs> but um anyway you open this up there really i read this um i have a second kit that i've already opened and checked out but uh, this was really good reading i mean there's a lot of good tips here and it really talks about some of the things you may face in a survival situation don't overlook something like this it gives you morale gives you some direction helps you just to calm down by reading it and gives you a little more confidence and it has a small little clip where you can just kind of fit this right here into the top so it makes it easy to retain in the small little kit but we're going to go ahead and take it out and we're going to pull all the contents out comes with a six foot length of stainless steel wire uh, you can use this for a number of things including setting snares has the small lanyard you can attach this and you know put it through your belt loop put it in your pocket hold on to it 10 feet of braided cord here we have some tender quick uh, these have been used by the u.s military and other uh, survival experts really love this a lot of times i do use vaseline and cotton balls it can be messy this really works well now with the fire tender you want to just bring it out it's cotton impregnated a lot of times it's wax uh, but it'll strike pretty fast these are supposed to burn for i think about a couple of minutes or so now you want to look on the striker and there is the arrows indicating which side so just make sure that you have it uh, there are two little rubber pads on either side that's really to hold in the striker but it also gives you a little something to hold on to there we go doesn't take much of a strike to get these to light this will give you an opportunity to put more tinder on here to be able to build and then you can build your fire and these little tinder tabs have become very popular even the u.s military uses these tabs here we have a small fishing and repair kit Right here on the bag, it does have a needle that's pushed through. And this is going to help protect the other items. We're going to go ahead and pull it out. Then in the bag, we have a couple of swivels. We have four hooks. We have a couple of weights. We also have some monofilament line. Now, you can use this for fishing, but you can also use it for your needle if you need to do repairs on gear or clothing. And then we have three nice size safety pins. And then next, we do have a piece of tin foil, And uh, you can use this to reflect heat. You can use it even to cook on. Uh, you can open this up, make a small little bowl with it. But it seems like a pretty good size sheet. Uh, you can use also this for reflecting or for signaling. Uh, so there's a number of different things you can do with tin foil. And then here you have just your open container. And, you know, it is nice and modular. And it's just really sturdy. And here we have all the items kind of laid out. Uh, we do have our signaling mirror, the tools that go in it. Uh, so, you know, it does have a lot of capability. A couple of things that I would definitely add are some kind of water purification tablets. Uh, I think that's a really important element. Uh, also, even though we have this braided cord, I would like to see some paracord uh, redundant on the side, having that extra. Uh, cordage is important. This is going to help. Uh, also, maybe an emergency space blanket, something like that. But this is to supplement some of the things that you already have. And to me, you put this together and, you know, you can survive. But I would definitely add water purification tablets. And the lanyard does come with this small little lead. Bring it through. Then bring your cord through the lead. Uh, 
Again, you can attach this to a pack, but to me, the best place for this is in your pocket. Guys, you'll notice there's a silicone gasket that runs all the way around. That's going to help it to be waterproof. So when you bring this down and you close it up, it's going to seal it up. Let's test it out. And we're going to check out the waterproof. Good thing is it floats. That's a plus. Shake it off, get all the excess water off of it so when we open it up, it doesn't contaminate it. Nice and dry, nice and dry. Now it comes in this little case and SOS stands for Survival Outdoors Longer. Um, and of course, all the different features on here. But if you ever see this in a store, you'll kind of know how this is set up. Now, personally, I like to put my own survival kits together. Uh, and you know, I know what's in them. I like to buy good quality stuff. One of the things I do, though, like about this little kit is how modular it is. Everything kind of fits together. Uh, you've got all the pieces that are in there. Now, uh, and they're decent quality. I mean, I think they'll hold up for, you know, a short-term survival situation. Great to slip in your pocket. A very compact, very lightweight. A lot of times, some of the items I might have might be a little heavier. So I do see a lot of benefit to having this. And it's kind of a complete toolkit. You need some other things, like we talked about. But this kit alone is going to give you, you know, a fighting chance. And really, that's what it's all about. Uh, these run about $30, $35 from what I've seen. Uh, I picked this up on Amazon. In fact, I bought two. And uh, just wanted to test them out. And thought I'd stick them in a kit. It's always good to have some kind of survival items close at hand. Because you never know when you may have your own personal SHTF. And guys, if you're serious about prepping and survival, check out Survival Dispatch Insider. Uh, one of the most comprehensive resources for survival and prepping on the web. A lot of world-renowned names and contributors there. We upload one video exclusive to the Insider every week. Down below in the description, we'll have a link. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.